sometimes feel like you've got too much shit talk going on in your head and not enough positive input. I certainly do. And that's what I want to talk about today in this video. And uh, shout out to Tanj Lee. She, um, I saw her speak yesterday. She talked about this information that I found interesting. I reflected on it this morning whilst I was in the gym and I thought it's bloody brilliant to share. So if you like this sort of stuff, make sure you jump onto my YouTube channel and follow me there. I do kind of motivational rants. I call them every day so you can follow us on YouTube and listen in more and PM me if you want to um, connect too. I'd love to um, connect with more people on here in that sort of positive psychology field that love this sort of stuff. But going back to shit talk, um, so her information, which was, and I might butcher this, I apologize, but she said that the human has 60 to 90,000 thoughts every single day. 60 to 90,000 thoughts, that's a lot of bloody thoughts. And then she said 90% of those are history. So thoughts from yesterday or 10 years ago or your past life, right? So 90% of those are old thoughts, 10% new then. And 85% of that is negative. Negative shit talk going in your head every day. Now, if you think about that, if you're having that negative input to your thoughts every day, that's gonna affect your beliefs, that's gonna affect how you feel, that's gonna affect your biology, and that's gonna affect how you show up every day. That's gonna affect how you show up, how successful you are and what you wanna do every day, right? And I realized this many years ago, it's actually when I started the Hidden Why podcast, that um, that was really important and I I have shit talk all the time, right? And I, I talk to myself negatively, I'm pretty hard on myself and the reason why I love positive psychology is probably because of that reason, is that I do have a lot of negative talk. And so I've found techniques that have helped me. I'm gonna share a couple right now that I think are really important. I've talked about these in the past, but I need to talk about them again today. And look at this beach, huh? Check it out down the uh, service paradise this morning. So the first one I think that helped me in a big way, a big shift, was to switch off the negative input. And that was the news primarily, right? If you're listening to the news, that's all negative shit. Now I know you're gonna say, well, you're just burying your head in the sand, Lee. You know, you can't tune out of the world. Well, it's not about that at all. Because I believe that if I have more positive thoughts going in and less negative thoughts going in, I'm gonna show up as a better human being and be able to provide better value to others. And I think that's really fundamental. And most of the important stuff that's still negative but important to, to be aware of, I'll hear, you know, people will talk to me about it. It'll come up in conversation. So I'm not missing out. And it's actually reducing the negative inputs that I'm putting in my head every day. So switching off the TV, switching off the negative news on the radio, whatever it might be, is a really powerful source. Following from that, is switching off from the naysayers, right? Those negative mofos that are in your life that just are always negative. It's a drain on your mental energy. It's a drain on your emotional energy. So if you can change your environment, the people you surround yourself by and find some more positive people, that might start influencing you in a positive way and that might start influencing you to talk to yourself in a more positive way as well. The next thing I think is really important if you're not doing this, and this is the final thing I'll leave you with, is to do some affirmations I'm gonna jump in this water in any second now do some affirmations now if you don't have affirmations written down Google it you'll find out you know how to write affirmations it is positive self-talk and give yourself some positive self-talk so write down a list of affirmations stick it on your bathroom window stick it in front of your computer record an audio tape and listen to it in the morning while you're in the gym listen to it at night before you go to bed I think that is some powerful tools to get you to have more positive self-talk, more positive input rather than negative input. And actually the final one that I will mention that I think is fundamental to me and my change positively is to have more um, motivational positive input. So switching off the negative news, I switch on the positive news. So I jump on to people that talk about positive psychology. I jump on and listen to motivational rants. I do all that stuff because I think it's really important and helpful. So there's just a few tips uh, for me. And again, shout out to Tanj Lee. I'm not sure how I linked that in here, but beautiful sunshine case today. Motivational talk. Hopefully that peps you up this morning and uh, would love to speak some more. Have a great day.